using the spatula I'm just going to push the butter down into the centre. I'm adding a small amount of egg. After each addition, I'm going to stir it with a wooden spoon. teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of cocoa powder using organic green and blacks, tap it like tambourine into the bowl. splash of milk, you can use any kind of alternative milk, in fact you can use vegan butter for this recipe too. teaspoon of organic vanilla bean extract preheat oven to 190 Blending gently the raspberries, I've put about 15 in there, and you can easily use a fork. Next is the cream cheese, I'm adding 130 grams. Next, I'm going to sieve 80 grams of icing sugar. the icing sugar I'm just going to fold it in with my spatula if I put the electric mix in there it's just going to puff into a big cloud of um, icing so sugar. sipping the raspberries just push them through the sieve this will remove the seeds I'm going to use this P6 basic nozzle, it's got a flat end. Um, the different ends will create different effects. What we do is we put the nozzle inside the bag, push it right down to the end, take the scissors and snip off the plastic. And then back it back, it back up slightly. 
and then I cut another say one mil well two mil off the end of the plastic like so and then push it back push it back so the you ultimately want the plastic just to be at the end but not coming over the edge and if you get a large glass a pint glass or a large glass glass like this and um, pop the bag inside and turn down the edges over the glass and push the insides to the edge So now we can put the buttercream inside that bag and it's secure. So I've had this in the fridge chilling so it's nice and cold. And because it has cream cheese in it, it's a lot softer than if it was just buttercream and icing sugar. a knife just clean spatula as you go so you don't waste any of that lush buttercream cheese so holding the top of the bag with your thumb and forefinger and then twist it slightly so you have a good grip and then apply some pressure and squeeze just do a tiny blob and it gives a cone effect. Mm -hmm. 